Hey guys, welcome back to Bedroom Studio Corn IMXD. Now today in this video, I want to show you something very interesting and I want to take this idea out of your minds that you need these special samples to be able to actually produce. Now I've put out two sample packs, a hand picked out sounds and make these sample packs to make sure that you guys have the easiest and the best sounds for you to make house music. But now what I'm going to do in this video, I am going to take hip hop samples and use them to make house and show you that no matter what samples you have you can still make beautiful music so i want to get that out of the way so that you don't worry and start crying that x we need samples x we need sounds but the sounds that you can get your hands on can work for whatever it is that you want to make so if you're new to the channel subscribe down below leave a like down below to support the channel and let's get into it so i don't know who's your favorite producer or you know who you like who you root for in terms of hip-hop production but i have a couple of people here but i'm gonna just use the official metro booming drum kit because you know who doesn't know metro booming the guy's popular everywhere so i'm gonna use that to make this track and we're gonna see how far we can get so firstly i'm gonna just put my tempo down to 117 down here let's see what we have in here i've got claps crashes extras the usual you would find in a sample pack so we also have presets here so we have sounds that we can use so we're also going to be throwing those as well inside now let's look for a kick i like that kick nice and short fill in four steps make that interesting let's trim that make make sure that doesn't have that long tail Let's see what percussion we can get. I like that. Switch off this use loop points. Okay, let me see if I cannot fade that out quicker. There we go. And I trim again. like the sound of that I'll trim that as well out the Vokes. Ah, I like that little grunt sound. And we have sound farms. So keep in mind this selection of sounds is a selection that is geared for the hip hop producer but now we're turning all of these sounds into house. add that string okay that's not gonna work because i use 64 bit and sound fonts don't work i keep forgetting that so that's actually a good side note when you're using 64 bit fl studio sound fonts do not work you have to use 32 bit so that's fine we're going to use the presets we have in here so let's see what we can get we can maybe throw in this piano too
let's actually make another pattern over here fill in all these steps up until five making it four bars as you can see Check out this sweet thing. Cut that. Okay, I cut that wrong. I'm gonna zoom in, delete all of that. Go back to my timing, put it back on sale. Cut that out, paste it on its own track, put it there. Let's add the square, see what's going on with that. It's probably going to be Nexus, that's why it's probably taken a while to load. Let's just see if it's going to finish over right here. Okay, let's not load it. Let's add another piano. This one's probably Nexus. There we go. Delete that one. Come out. Okay, that sounds the same like the first piano. Let's try this hard brass. Copy that over. Ah, oh, let's check out this dirty synth and see what we can do with this. sound of that copy that over so keep playing let's actually send this to the mixer and add some convolver Ooh, but then we have sends over here so i can just replace this reverb with fruity convolver and then i can send this one up here that's gonna save us a lot of ram and a lot of processing power Okay, so now we need a, a pad sound. I like the sound of that. Let's layer that in the drums. add another lead here ah purity okay. let's change those steps to three steps Give him 
some kind of that machine gun feel. Set them to a mixer track. Give them the old weaver. Check out this beep synth. It's like a video game sound. Yeah, I think we can turn this sound into kind of a chord. So now what we need to do, jump inside here and see if we can work out some chords. I'm just going to make sure here on helper skill highlighting is set on automatic so that I can pick out where we're playing at. Like it already detects an A minor over here. So that's going to be our guide. get some bass in here okay we need to go down let's change the timing to sell sound sounding like this it's not in key with everything else what you can do is you can go on this range tool here and you can see there's a keyboard you can actually change the key or the root note of a sample by coming this side so this is a tip i've never shared before but now i'm sharing it with you now so i want this sound to kind of be in key with the rest of my sound so i can use this technique to put this sound in key
Okay, now these are big boy sounds now. So that's it ladies and gentlemen there we go i just made a track using only hip-hop sounds or trap sounds if you will but that's the point i was trying to show you that it's not about the samples that you have or the samples that you own it's about what you have in your head and the creativity your creativity knows no bounds it will keep on you know doing what you wanted to do as long as you have the positivity and the faith that you're going to make beautiful music with whatever tools you have so i always try and show you that you can use fl studio stock sounds to make beautiful music now i'm showing you you can use even if it's hip-hop samples or trap samples you can still use them to make really good music so i hope you find this very helpful if you do leave a like down below if you want to watch more videos on this channel remember to subscribe down below i'm gonna check you guys out in my next video Stay positive, stay creative. I am X and I'm out. Peace.